Swabian Alp, one of the oldest cultural landscapes in the world, is home to the largest sports and leisure manufacturer in Germany, Trigema. Four and a half million garments leave the factory each year. Packed into each and every one is innovative and environmentally friendly technology, the accumulated know-how of Trigema's employees and 100 years of experience. Trigema, a family business for over 100 years, 100 years of responsibility towards people and the environment. As early as 2006, Trigema developed the first completely biodegradable T-shirt in collaboration with the International Environmental Institute, EPIA, for which they received the Cradle to Cradle Innovation Award in New York. In September 2019, Trigema became one of the first companies to be accredited with the Green Button, a certification for fair and ecologically manufactured products. In my opinion, sustainability has to occur in the clothing industry. We have to pay close attention to where the textiles come from and how they're produced. Sustainability means the environment must be up to scratch, but the product must also be up to scratch. Sustainability is nothing new at Trigema. That comes naturally to us. Sustainability is integral to our practice. We manufacture our clothes on site, and because we do all of our production within a 70-kilometer radius, we also have short transport routes. Short distances are also found within the company. When we purchase purchase a new machine, we make sure we know where it comes from, from which supplier, and in the long run, is it really better for the environment? A long time ago, I realized that growth cannot be equated to eternal sales growth. If I'm continually producing more, I'm unable to protect the environment at the same time. We have to rethink things. We should not produce more, we should produce less, but do so more responsibly. That's the most important value. In 1919, Josef Meyer founded the company Mishanische Trikovar and Fabrik Gebrüder Meyer KG in a disused factory in Borledingen. Within 20 years, he had transformed it into a large enterprise of 800 employees and the most modern machines of the time. After the war, things started to pick up again. The textile industry in Swabian Alp was booming. Josef Meyer died on 30th November 1956. The whole of Borledingen mourned his passing. His son-in-law, Dr. Franz Grupp, took over the management. He was supported by director Johann Graf, who began as an apprentice at the company in 1919. In 1969, exactly 50 years after the company was founded, Dr. Grupp handed leadership over to his son, Wolfgang. With its main factory in Borladingen and branches in Elzhausen and Rangendingen, Trigema is currently the only textile company in Germany which is still fully integrated. The headquarters were, and still are being, consistently enhanced, rebuilt and adjusted to meet the needs of the time. All of the production steps, from design and manufacturing to marketing and distribution, are consolidated under Trigema's one roof. 100% made in Germany, dedicated to tradition and prepared for the future. The head of a company must recognize change. I have to go along with it. I have to move with the times. And based on my day-to-day -day experience, I know what I have to do in order to guarantee that the company remains a future contender. I have to sense it and recognize it. Trigema works exclusively with yarns from European spinning mills, in particular from Greece. The freshly harvested cotton is processed directly on site. After cleaning, the fibers are repeatedly stretched, drawn and twisted, and thus spun into a fine yarn, precisely tailored for further processing at Trigema. Every week, a lorry makes the five-day journey to Borladingen. Every day, Trigema processes 10 tons of yarn. The fully automatic circular knitting machines operate round the clock. With about 2,000 needles each, a total of around 4.5 million stitches are produced every minute. If you were to knit this by hand, you would need almost 80,000 knitters. This is how the most diverse fabric qualities are made. For example, PK fabrics for polo shirts, Ottoman fabrics for sweatshirts or dresses, and of course, high quality single jersey for t-shirts. You know how cheap t-shirts twist after being in the wash? That comes from the way the yarn is twisted. That's why the t-shirt regains its twist after washing. 
The trick, the t-shirt's fabric is rotated during cutting. So since then, we no longer have the problem of t-shirts twisting after being in the wash. After washing and bleaching, the fabrics are cold dyed and further processed in an environmentally friendly manner. Quality requires time. The dyed cotton must rest for 24 hours before further treatment. Subsequently, a huge stenter frame adjusts the fabric to the correct width and the samphorizing machine makes it shrink resistant. Still today, the equipment operates with minimal water and energy consumption and Ultra Gamer garments are skin friendly and largely free from harmful substances. To make production even more environmentally friendly, a combined washing and bleaching plant is being installed in a specially built hall. 45 meters of the latest generation in high-tech equipment, of course, made in Germany. We always work with regional suppliers and only replace machines when we really have to. And then we choose the most technologically advanced and innovative models. Of course, sustainability also plays its part. For example, in comparison to the previous machine, this one uses 30% less electricity and around 40% less steam and water. Innovation is being tested here. For example, this dyeing machine uses no salt when dyeing. The manufacturer approached us. Anything that's new, future-orientated or environmentally friendly, we want to have it as soon as possible. We don't live and breathe price discussions, we live and breathe innovation. As well as being known for producing in Germany, we also have a reputation for being open for innovation. So the suppliers are happy to approach us with new ideas. Altogether, 1,200 employees work in administration and production. For exactly half a century, Wolfgang Grupp has been the sole owner of the company. Former employees remember when he started at the company. I joined Tregamer in 1968 as a young business graduate. Tregamer was still making money, but the company was 10 million Deutsche Mark in debt. Wolfgang Grupp bet on a trend coming out of the USA, Bartik T-shirts, and it was a success. They all wanted to have T-shirts, but we couldn't produce that many so quickly. Then I dyed old vests, Batik it was called back then. We took the T-shirts, rolled them together like a sausage, tied them up and dipped them into a tub of dye. We sold loads of these. Loads! And as a result of this t-shirt craze, I was able to guarantee employment here. Today, t-shirts are still one of Tregamer's core activities, available in a large range of colors, styles, fabrics and cuts. A computer calculates the optimal cut. Depending on the thickness and quality of the fabric, a fully automated machine stacks up to 150 layers on top of one another for mass cutting. The fabric is sorted into bundles and sent for assembly. Here, manual labor comes into play. Skill and experience are particularly vital for complex components like dresses and jackets. For the assembly of simpler pieces, such as polo shirts and t-shirts, Trigamer's production process is based on a division of labor, from the first seam to the final folded product. At individual stations, tablets support the seamstresses' work, a further step towards digitalization. Digitalization in the textile industry means collecting accurate data to become more efficient. This also increases employee satisfaction, as they can see exactly what they've produced. This way, we continue to ensure 100% fair payment. Something particularly eye-catching. At Tregema, a large amount of men operate the sewing machines. In Syria or Pakistan, it's common for men to train as a tailor. That's only possible to a limited extent in Germany. In 2015, we started to work with refugees, and now we have over 40 within our team. We're four brothers, and yeah, I like the work very much. For Trigamer's 100th birthday, a special collection was developed. Today, it goes without saying that the company does its own retailing. However, in the past, collections were mainly offered to large mail-order companies for resale. 
You had an appointment with Quella or Wittweid, Karstadt, Kaufhof or Ottawasan. If you'd have said 20 years ago that Karstadt or Quella would go bust, everyone would have said, that's not possible. And before they bankrupted themselves, they obviously tried to put pressure on the prices of local producers. I had the nerve to say, I can't match your prices, I have to pay my staff. And so I said no. If he sells good products directly at a reasonable price and cuts out the middleman, then he has better chances. That's how it is. When I started the company 30 years ago, my husband, who was always very far-sighted, said, Elizabeth, you take care of our direct sales. What began as just three Trigema shops has now become almost 50. Around half of them are located in the company's own properties. The so-called test stores can be found all over Germany, from the North Sea to the fringes of the Alps. Our test stores are primarily located in holiday regions, so that we always have a decent mix of tourists. Holidaymakers from Hamburg, Berlin and Cologne, for example. That's why we only choose locations where we're sure we'll get an array of customers from all over Germany. Test means that we put our latest collections in these shops. Within a very short period of time, we get feedback as to which pieces work and which don't. For example, if we're testing new fabrics such as soft gel or merino wool, We'll first put a limited edition into our stores. It allows us to get closer to the customer and receive direct feedback. This also enables us to serve our online customers much better. Since 2014, the company has been taking a different approach in the capital. The Tregema flagship store is prominently located in the Mall of Berlin. At the headquarters in Borladingen, it's ensured that the warehouse is always fully stocked. Trigema customers should always get their goods immediately, and regardless of whether in one of the test shops, flagship store or via the online shop. My area of expertise comprises e-commerce and online marketing. At Trigema, this sector is divided into our classic online shop, the B2C online shop, the Trigema B2B online shop, and our online partners, which include Amazon and Otto. The B2C shop provides a direct service for our end customers. The B2B online shop operates as a platform for our corporate clients. Doctors, organizations, industry customers and companies who we supply with work attire. The screen printing facility allows particularly large quantities to be printed. In our corporate department, we serve a variety of clients, ranging from industrial companies to public bodies such as the police. Production varies from one item to very large quantities, and we're able to accommodate everyone. We like the fact that corporate clients choose a Made in Germany garment for their staff. With around 500 stitches per minute and up to 12 colors at the same time, the embroidery machine offers the additional possibility to add logos to clothes. Many of the employees have been with Tregema for several generations. I'm originally from Sicily. Back in the day, my parents moved to Germany and worked here. My mum sewed. My dad first worked in the knitting department before he began work in the garment cutting room. They did that until they retired and moved back to Sicily for good. Now she's been here for around 35 years, just like her colleague. My son works as an industrial electrician. He did his apprenticeship here and was taken on. For every employee who is a parent, I guarantee their children a job here after they finish school. Trigema trains its staff itself across all departments. Many of the former apprentices stay for life. My daughter is the third generation. My mother, myself and then my daughter. My mum was here for 25 years. My daughter also 25. And I was here for 50 years. Together, that makes exactly 100 years. 
company outings involving the whole workforce foster a feeling of togetherness from an early stage. Working and celebrating together, Wolfgang and Elisabeth Group continue this tradition wherever possible. This is give and take. That's the unique beauty of a large family enterprise. We know each other, we help each other, and we support each other when needed. Working and living together. To achieve this, the Wolfgang and Elisabeth Group Foundation supports local organizations and initiatives. German lessons help the new arrivals to feel at home. Honesty, trust, community. At Tregema, values are put into practice, both for our fellow human beings and nature. Here we're in the boiler room. The boiler room is the heart of the company. Here we generate our own environmentally friendly energy by using combined heat and power with gas turbines and cogeneration units. This method generates 6.5 million kilowatt hours. Tregema is independent of the public grid. What's more, all factories and several test shops are fitted with solar panels. The electricity generated by the photovoltaic systems is partially for the company's own use. The rest is fed into the public grid. Herr Grupp, ist es nicht etwas affig, immer noch in Burladingen zu produzieren? Ganz im Gegenteil. Dieses Shirt muss nicht um die halbe Welt fliegen und die Menschen, die es herstellen, haben einen sicheren Arbeitsplatz. Deshalb Burladingen, deshalb Deutschland. Was habe ich gerade gesagt? 100% Qualität. 100% made in Germany. Trigema. One of Trigema's trademarks was and still is original and striking advertising. In 1967, Trigema signed the then tennis star Wilhelm Bungert for its first tennis collection. In the 80s and 90s, Trigema became the shirt sponsor for various Bundesliga clubs in Germany. In 1997, Trigema became the first German company to advertise on a passenger aircraft. And since 2008, large posters have been prominently displayed on motorways. Lastly, since 2016, the airship Charlie has been flying over Germany. Social media channels such as Facebook and Instagram offer new possibilities in the realm of PR. What's good about Instagram is that we can reveal a lot more from inside the company. Followers can see employees, production steps and everything that happens on site. Other clothing manufacturers can't always show that. The customers want to see how textiles are produced, as it's not something they can always imagine. For decades, Dragema has focused itself on durable fashion rather than fast-paced trends, and that's what makes it fully up-to-date. Of course, the move is increasingly towards sustainable textiles. As a manufacturer, we have to adapt to that and fulfill the needs of our customers. I think we have to keep up with the times. Right now, in terms of digitalization, we have to make sure we don't miss the boat. We have to figure it out together with our staff and see what's useful for the entire team Tregema. As a company, we must always be prepared for change and adaptation and not miss the opportunities to do so. I just wish that our children continue to uphold the traditions of a textile company like Trigema in the future, that they preserve our values and especially have the ability to recognize change. If they do, I believe Trigema can continue to exist as a textile manufacturer in the coming decades and look forward to the future with optimism. From the moment they were born, my children have grown up in the company. They've grown with the company, and they are meant to continue this company. You just have to give them a chance, and they must have the ability to always recognize in good time what needs to be changed so that they remain future contenders.